let's move on to round two or turn two. Um, so we've got that gun stolen from us, but uh, we are now in the effects phase. Um, so I have this card that says Trojan Horse of Kegs. Uh, play during the effects phase to claim an unowned resource. So I'm going to play that. And I think I'm just going to claim one that I would probably never get to. Um, I'll just claim. I'll claim this one right here. So that, again, will bump up my thing up one. And it'll up my prestige by one. <clears throat> Is that all I had for the effects phase? I believe so. Yep, okay. So we move on to the town business phase. Um, each player receives one action card. Government transparency, okay. That plays during the effects phase. Resource production, receive all town health and salvage coins produced. So on my little board here, you see I get two town health, one, two, and I get four salvage coins. I'm going to give myself a five and take away a one. <clears throat> Auction house, draw three spoil cards. I may purchase two of them for their salvage coin value. So I have five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So let's see what kind of... Oh, these are going to cover up the my pistols. Ah, oh. <laughs> That stinks. That's all right. Um, Let's see, what do we got? We got a melee weapon, uh, a Tap-O the Line stun gun, um, after successfully complete an encounter or a mission card, roll 1d6 on a 1, draw a spoils card. Um, all my melee guys have melee weapons now, right? They do. Okay. Um, equipment stowable. So this can go on my truck. Ignore radiation damage from radiation hexes. Before drawing a city radiation encounter card, gain one additional spoils or action card. Huh. It's a Geiger counter. That's pretty cool cost nine and then equipment mechanical uh it's just a cordless power drill cost eight but it gives me four technical which i think i'm kind of weak in aren't i not horrible kind of horrible i don't know i really want to save up for a town technology this is really good You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend all my money for the Geiger counter. Not all my money, but a ton of my money. Um, I guess if I put these back in any order I want, let me think about this. Cause I have this, remember I have this action card that I can play on the exploits phase. A party of your choice, uh, acquire the top card from the spoils discard pile and equip it to your party. So I don't have to pay for it. So, I'm assuming I can discard these in any order. So I think I'm just going to discard. I'm going to save my money. I'm going to discard the Geiger counter to the top. Like so. Yeah. Probably going to come back to burn me somehow. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to buy anything. Um, now I roll on the town events chart. So I will roll this yellow die here we got a two which is a zero for me which I guess is a one so again I gain two prestige four town health and an action or spoils card I'm gonna take a spoils card and I got equipment armor clothing equipped as a first item may not be used in conjunction with other armor it's a designer biker leathers Gives me one armor. I'm going to give this to Buck Liddell. Because I want him to not die. So there you go, bud. You have some armor now. Okay. 
sorry. I gave it to Buck right there. Designer biker leather. Okay. Financial fees. Sell spoils and action cards. Town technologies and town defense chips. So I'm going to sell... Um, this betrayal one because it doesn't really help me much in this solo. So I'll take three for that. And... I'm going to sell this government transparency. Um, it allows me to subtract one from my town events rule, but I'm getting to do that anyways. I'm getting to subtract two. It's worth 13. So I'm going to sell that for 13. So a 10 and a 3. Um, I'm going to come over here and do some, do some cashing in here. Let's see. 3, 9, 10. Get a little crowded over here. Three, four, five. Let's grab another five. All right, so I'm at I'm at thirty now. Ooh. So next time around, I could I could get a new town tech. Sweet. All right, so I sold. I can buy. Oh, I can buy a town tech now. Awesome. So let's see. I can buy a marketplace, so that's cost 40. Mm, I feel weakest in, I mean, my diplomacy was pretty bad that one time. My medical is probably the worst, so I think I'm going to buy a hospital, a medical center. So medical center will give me automatically plus one success to uh, medical checks. That costs 30, so I'm down to one Salvage coin, um, but it does. It says right on here, it gives me five town health. Two, three, four, five, and one prestige. So I just passed the halfway mark. And I'm on turn two. That's um, pretty incredible. <laughs> so, okay. Hire. So I could have hired these mercs. They cost 20 to hire. Um, and these guys are awesome mercs. Um, but I don't have 20 to hire them right now, so I'll keep them in my hand. And then we move on to player exploits phase. I don't have mercs, so we're not doing that. Um, remember, I have my one-week penalty, so I only get three weeks this time. So first and foremost is I'm going to move for one week. I got a six plus my movement bonus of three gives me a nine. So where do I want to go? I think I probably want to claim another resource. So I'll come down to this resource. Um, and I'm going to use this now. Speedy delivery. Play during the party exploits phase. A party of your choice may retrieve and equip any number of cards from their auction house. Or acquire the top card from the spoils discard pile and equip it to your party. Play that. I'm going to get this Geiger counter, and I'm going to attach it to my big old truck. You're not seeing me do that, but I did it. Okay, so two weeks left. I will go ahead and do a resource deed for my last two weeks. Um, this will go away. And again, I'm going to do a planes card just because I'm scared. So, draw a planes card. Signs of the False Prophet. A column of black smoke on the horizon draws you to this raised town. The charred remnant structures still smolder. In the center of town, a pamphlet is nailed to a blackened freestanding post, and it reads, Come, brothers and sisters, put down your weapons and join the Holy Communion. This can only be the handiwork of the False Prophet's men. There are Authoriz their authoritarian leader, Ezekiel, and his cult of religious zealots must have a large sect in this region. Scour the area for clues. It's time to apply your faction's brand of justice to this tragic circumstance. Okay. Um, oh, I did forget that on my vehicle by equipping that awesome Geiger counter, I did get two more 
research on him. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. We need, we get four salvage coins first off. That's good. We need a four survival check, a four research check, and a five combat check. We need to succeed at all of those to win, to pass this encounter. So here we go with the uh, survival check. Now, if you remember, um, one of my spoils is the water and supplies. So I automatically start with one success for survival. So that's good. All right, here we go. Red. Survival, I'm at an 8, I rolled a 10, that's an auto fail. Orange, I rolled a 6, I'm at a 7, that's a pass. 3, I'm at an 8, I rolled a 4, that's a pass. Blue, I'm at a 6, I rolled a 1, that's a pass. So I only needed a 4, so I did succeed on my survival check. Next is research. All right, let's do it. Uh, research, again, I have uh, energy production, which gives me plus one research successes. So here we go. Red rolled a six. I have a seven. That is a success. Orange rolled a 10, that's an auto fail. Three rolled a four on a 10, that's a success. Blue rolled a 10, that is an auto fail. Five rolled a one on a seven, that's a success. And that will give me enough. So we will move on to the last one, which is a combat check. I don't have any bonuses for combat so I see another 10 in there two more tens oh my gosh uh, um, I need five combat successes I don't think I got it so I rolled a 10 that's an auto fail I rolled a four so that's one success two successes um, again because um, I rolled a four it was under the 10 with a 7 remainder, and the 4 is also under a 7. So that's two successes. Green, auto fail. Blue, a 9. I rolled a 4. That's a 1. Yellow, okay. That's 1. Black is a 10. I rolled an 8. Yes! Barely. Barely got that fifth success. All right. What happens? Success. Gain four spoils cards and an action card. Locating these pieces of human garbage, you creep up to their position. Taking aim, you make short, short work of them. After the smoke clears, you search the place. You get three spoils and an action card. Excellent. My action card oops, is good shooting text. So I'll take a look at that. And three spoil cards. I love spoils. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Jameson Bond 77 Lotus. It's a relic. Gives me three movement. I don't think I'm going to take that over my war wagon, though. Um, it's a lot of, it does good for, for PvP stuff. Um, but I'm definitely going to sell that for a whole bank of money. So that'll go in my auction house there. I got a flamethrower. <laughs> Ranged, melee, and heavy weapon. May not be used in conjunction with a backpack. Okay. Um, discard to succeed at a combat encounter card, excluding world cards. Who wants an amazing flamethrower? So he's only at four weight. This will add seven. I'll put it at 11. I think. Oh, Bucky can hold it too, though. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. Is that going to be an, one more? Oh, there's another melee weapon. All right, let's give this one to Sean Cahill. And then 
let's give this one to should we boost up I, the doctor having the uh the chainsaw is just kind of funny <laughs> um or we can give it to chad because it does give plus more one more to wrench is you know what? i'm going to give this to my uh to my doctor i think he needs a chainsaw yeah so our doctor gained um let's see five six ten so he he only has one more weight so he really can't carry a whole lot more so the doctor is purple purple so we're going to add four combat two survival one mechanical and then sean is going to add 10. this guy's a beast he's adding 10 combat instead of 25. Woo! All right, awesome. And we completed that planes, which means we put down a token. Go one prestige up, and our track here will move up one as well. And I do believe that is going to conclude um, our deeds. Because let's see, I only had three. I moved, I did two, so yep. I'm good there, and we'll move on to the end turn phase. So with Chad's ability, I will get two salvage coins. Um, any of these end, um, I move the turn marker up, and we will start round number three. <laughs>